Hey guys, Plain and Simple Man here, and today I'm going to show you how to make thumbnails. This is a much more subdued video than I'm normally accustomed to making, but it's because I'm trying to show you guys how to do something, and it was a request from a couple of people saying, Plain and Simple Man, you make some pretty good thumbnails. Can you go ahead and make a video on how to make thumbnails? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. First thing you guys are going to need is Adobe Photoshop. If you don't already have it, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you guys can download it for free, and it's legal. And the reason for that is it's, it's old. It's like seven Seven, eight years old so you can download it for free if you have it fantastic if you don't want to use it okay too just go ahead and use any kind of image editing software try to follow along the best you can so without further ado go ahead and open up Photoshop or whatever you have once you open up Photoshop go to the top left hand portion of the screen and click file and new now we're gonna set the parameters so the width we're gonna set it 1920 the height we're going to set it 1080. The resolution's already set at 72. We're going to click OK. We're going, we're going to open up our window full screen, just about. And now we're going to go down to Google Images, which everything is already set, 1024 by 768, large. OK, now we're going to select this image, which is watermarked. We're going to view it. We're going to copy the image, of course. Then we're going to go to Edit in Photoshop, and then we're going to click Paste. Make sure your move tool is selected, see the arrow, and then you're going to move it uh, move it to where you think it's going to be. The move tool is in your palette over there on the left. Now we're going to go ahead and select a polygonal lasso tool like I just did. Make sure you're feathering at 65 because what we're going to do is we're going to select here. We're going to get rid of these hard edges around the image. So we're selecting here. See how we're selecting the outer portion? Once we connect everything, we're going to click delete. See how it's feathering? We're going to click delete a few times. We're going to go ahead and click select, deselect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and, collect and, and select our text tool. We're already set at 280, Franklin Gothic. I'm going to put blindfolded because I'm basically making up what I normally do. I'm going to center it. Right now it's by default black, but we want to change the color. So we're going to select it and go to our color palette there, click it. We're going to select a portion of her face uh, by using the color picker and well, well gray is good and then we're going to select it we're going to go ahead and click the move tool again <laughs> double click on the blindfolded layer the blue part now we're going to click stroke we're going to click the color to black the stroke basically puts an outline around it so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a 10 see how that works we're going to click ok all right now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to google images and everything's already set for us because I preset this from before. We're going to go ahead and take a, an, an advanced warfare logo. This logo is going to be pretty big. We're going to view it. We're going to we're going to copy it again, just like we did before. And then once we copy the image, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to go ahead and edit, paste. Now it's pretty big, so we're going to go to edit, free transform, and we're going to pull it in. Now, here's the key. You better hold down the shift key. Because if you don't hold down the shift key when you do this, guys, your aspect ratio is going to go to shit. <clears throat> so we're going to keep doing this until we get it to a, a, a reasonable size. Now, notice there's a lot of white around Call of Duty. See? Advanced Warfare, of course, didn't come out, but I'm using this as an example. Double click right there once we set it to get rid of the uh, border. And then we're going to select our Magic Wand tool here in a second. And we're going to select the white areas of Call of Duty. Let's go to the Magic Wand tool in our palette right there. See how I'm going to select the white area right there? And now I'm going to click Delete. And it's going to get rid of all the white. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click Select, Deselect. And now we're going to go back to our layer toolbar and click the blindfolded layer. We're going to right click and click duplicate layer. We're going to call this, I don't know, kills. We'll just call it kills. We're going to click OK. We're going to grab our move tool. We're going to move blindfolded down lower because we're going to name it something completely different. We're going to select our text tool. We're going to highlight blindfolded. And I don't know. We're just going to go 0K and I don't know how many deaths. 54 deaths. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead. After we're done with this, we're going to select it again, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger because we want our thumbnail to scream zero kills and 54 deaths. So we're going to go back to our uh, palette, and we're going to click the Move tool to get rid of everything so we can see what we got. We are now finished with the basic part of making our thumbnail. We're going to change the background. We're going to have fun. We're going to click the background layer. We're going to click on the color palette. We're going to go and select using the color picker. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll go a little bit darker. Let's try picking part of her hair. We're going to click OK. We're going to go to our Fill tool now, which is the paint bucket, and fill in that layer. Now, notice in the Call of Duty logo, there's some points in there that we got to get rid of. So let's go ahead and click the Move tool. 
We're gonna double click on blindfolded first. And now the layer style is gonna come up. We're gonna give it an outer glow. So we're gonna take screen and go to normal. We're gonna set the opacity at 100. We are now gonna select yellow and make it white and click okay. Then we're gonna go down to spread and size. We're gonna have fun here. You guys can see what's gonna happen when we kind of change all this. We're gonna let this magic happen here. We're basically what we're doing is we're making everything pop out at you. We're separating the foreground from the background. We want our layers to look crisp and sharp. Go ahead. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to double click on layer two, which is the advanced warfare logo. We're going to select the uh, magic wand and you see those little areas, the A, the D, the A, the D and all that. We're going to click in those areas and click delete to get rid of the white areas that were in the image before that we didn't see. And uh, what we're gonna do, why we're doing this is because when we give this a glow, we want the glow to come through as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click select. We're gonna go deselect and we're gonna work with this layer. So I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna double click on the blue portion of the layer until uh, the layer style comes up. We're gonna click stroke. And what we're doing with stroke is we're gonna give it a little bit of a, uh, an outline. So we're gonna change the red to, I don't know, like a dark gray. Trust me, it'll look badass when we're finished. I know you guys are thinking, wait a minute, it's gonna blend in with the background, you won't see it. Trust me, it will look good, man. I've done this before, click OK once we get it. And then we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna give it an, an outer glow once again like we did with the other layer. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, click screen, go to normal, take the opacity to 100%. This is how I do it. You can keep it at 75 if you want. Change yellow to white, because I want it to glow white. I want it to pop out. And mess around with your spread and size, man. It doesn't matter, just have fun with it, you know? Right now it's at 32, eh, we'll make it 35, why not? We got five for the size, boom, let's go 55. That's a little too much. If you look cl closely to the left of the C, we're gonna have to do some changes over there, but we'll do that in a minute, guys. So we're just messing around here. Let's go to 45, let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good, right? And let's go a little bit more, I don't, I don't know. We're just messing around, we're having a little bit of fun. We're gonna click OK. Now we wanna get rid of that big blotchy thing to the left of the C. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move that out of the way. We are going to, uh, we're gonna go to our poly polygonal lasso tool again, but we are going to take the feather down to zero. The reason is, is it's, it's a hard cut. We wanna cut that portion away from the C. See where the C is? There's that big blocky thing to the left. We're using our feather as zero. Now when I click delete, it's not gonna do anything to the C. It's just gonna get rid of that. All right, we're gonna click select. We're gonna go deselect. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to go back to our move tool and we are going to work with the final portion of this, uh, of this uh, thumbnail which is the kills layer, which is the 0K54D. We're gonna go ahead and do the outer glow, same thing. We're gonna go screen, we're gonna go back to normal, we're gonna take the opacity, and we're gonna bring it up to 100% because that's what I like, man. That's what I like to do. Don't give me any flack. We're gonna take the yellow and make it white. We're gonna go ahead and click OK and mess with the spread and the size. Now guys, when you guys are done with your thumbnails, trust me, trust me guys, save this as a Photoshop file so you can use this as a template later. Then all you gotta do is change the logo, take the girl out of there, put GTA 5 in there, whatever you gotta do, change the color. But look at what we got here, guys. This is a basic, this is a simple logo, guys, and as always, Always remember to like, subscribe, comment, and watch my next video because my next video is going to be about what I think about digital downloads versus hard copy. And guys, remember Monday and Friday is when I do my uploads. So anyway, you guys have a good day. I hope you guys like the video. Peace out.